Hey there. You know, it's funny, but true, that people dismiss old technology. And, uh, and I, got a, I got an example here, and I think kind of a fun couple of videos maybe. And what it is, is a project. And it is a 12 volt Delco generator. In the 1950s. And what we're going to do. We're going to take it apart. It's a good one. It works. But it needs to be serviced. It needs to be checked out. It's all full of crap. And uh, what's interesting about this, see, look, this is a nice one. Look at that. It's got boilers with a front and rear bearing. You know, I can't remember if this is a bushing or a ball in there. It, it almost looks like it's a bushing for the, for the rear anyway. So, we're going to pop this apart. Now, <laughs> I've seen a lot of old car videos and stuff like that. And I haven't even looked for general uh, rebuilds on YouTube. And I don't, I'm not even going to bother to do it. Uh, because uh, I was showing how to do this by old time guy. Way, way back when I was very young. And he showed me how to do it because he was sick of doing it. <laughs> Sold me the lathe and all the stuff. I wish I kept the lathe. It was uh, a six inch atlas with all the attachments. But it's a rel that's a relic and I wouldn't use it now anyway. Wouldn't need it. And I'm going to bring into this the generator job other technology. Now it's kind of funny how it is in industry. There can be a real separation. <clears throat> and I talked about that with the Sun and Company. They have a catalog for automotive, and then there's a catalog for uh, industrial. And the catalog for automotive is kind of small, and the catalog for <laughs> industrial is thick. They probably don't do paper catalogs anymore. But the Sun and Company has vastly more for the uh, industrial uh, sector than for the automotive sector. Just a whole bunch. And uh, the Sun and Honey is that's an, that's part of being an inside machinist. Now hole making is pretty tough, and uh, it's harder to bore a hole than. Uh, then turn a shaft, and it is. And I'm gonna get into the inside of that. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this stuff. Well, anyway, so what we're gonna do is take this apart and uh, check it out. And uh, check out that commutator and just basically clean it up there. Put it back together, I suppose. Now, <laughs> I think uh, the car guys get rid of these because uh, I don't think, I don't know, I don't know if there's people that uh, are out there that can rebuild these very well, but it would cost to really do a good job on, a, on something like this, you know. It could cost 250 bucks, you know, to have an original. And that's probably low, because I'm low on my pricing. But I, I haven't done this kind of stuff for a very long time. But I think I'm, I, I see, you know, the, the most valuable old cars will retain their old original parts. So I think you may gain a few things from me attacking one of these with the mighty power of this little one car garage machine shop. Okay, so we're going to get going on that. I'm going to go in. I got a, I got a cup of tea and uh, 
I will, how long has this video been so far? I'll just use this as an introduction. And you know, you can give me some feedback on it. Maybe say, don't bother with us all generators. So you go, yeah, I'm interested. Now, what I have learned is you can build these generators that'll outlast an alternator. And I will show you how to do that. And after I've learned that, I've never had a generator failure. I've never had a generator failure on, uh, on generators that I've rebuilt for others. And it's all very simple, but it's uh, like I was talking about that separation. So you've got automotive generator rebuilders, and then you've got elevator repair people and vacuum cleaner repair people <laughs> that treat similar things differently. So let's mix the technology and come out with a superior repair. Hear that dog out there? She knows I'm recording. I don't know. I think I better bring her in here or something when I start again. Okay, I will load this. This is Sunday at, yeah, 1.30. It looks like if uh, electricity didn't go off. Okay.